the moon has been observed by humans for eons. Our prehistoric ancestors would have looked to the moon and the thousands of stars that litter the sky. Ever since these times we have wondered what they are, and if one day we would ever be able to reach them. It's known that the moon is the second brightest object in the sky after the sun. Due to its size and composition, the moon is sometimes classified as a terrestrial planet along with Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars. The moon was first visited by the Soviet spacecraft Luna 2 in 1959, and it's the only extraterrestrial body to have been visited by humans. In the summer of 1994, the moon was very extensively mapped by the little spacecraft Clementine, and again in 1999 by the Lunar Prospector. In recent years there has been a special interest in the moon as various space agencies have expressed interest in returning. NASA have announced that they've collected a massive amount of data on the polar regions, and they say these shallow craters may contain more water ice than previously thought. Interestingly, scientists have also said these water deposits can be found on other planets, such as Mercury. As you can imagine, NASA are very excited by this discovery as it comes just in time before they start sending people to the moon again. The discovery was made by NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter and Messenger spacecraft. One of the scientists who was working on this discovery said the following. We found shallow craters tend to be located in areas where surface ice was previously detected near the south pole of the moon, and inferred this shallowing is most likely due to the presence of buried thick ice deposits. NASA have said the main reason these deposits are here is because the sun never makes it over the horizon near the poles, so this ice just sits in these craters. It's also said the poles of Mercury are one of the coldest regions in the solar system. As mentioned, people are now wondering if NASA will be able to use this newfound water to their advantage. NASA have said they're working hard to try and get astronauts on the lunar south pole by 2024, and it's being looked into if humans could use this water while they're conducting their missions. As of right now though, NASA is still carrying out extensive tests before they head back to the moon. This comes in the form of scanning the moon and ensuring all their equipment is at the highest standards. It just goes to show we still have much more to learn about our solar system, let alone the universe. So what do you guys make of this discovery? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.